What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? This is Leonard Miles, aka Two Degrees in the CDL. Coming live with the news as as always. And we got another fraudulent case going on. Shout out to Freight Waves. Um for getting on this article, but let's get right into it. Feds charge Illinois trucking company owner in alleged CDL fraud. Prosecutors claim only use hidden microphones to help applicants cheat on exams. I'm gonna be honest with you all. It's not a hard exam. It's not a hard exam at all. Download the CDL prep app and whatever uh, CDL uh, book that your state issues, study both of those and you'll do fine. You'll do fine, but let's go ahead and get into it. Federal prosecutors have charged the owner of an Illinois trucking company in an elaborate scheme to help applicants cheat on CDL exams by using hidden microphones and earpieces. That's just doing too much. Makola Datkin, 33, of Port Barrington, Illinois, is accused of directing CDL applicants attempting to cheat on their CDL examinations to his Island Lake, Illinois, testing facility. Prosecutors claim that he and unnamed co-conspirators provided test takers with an earpiece, which was synced to the individual's phones, and the microphone receiver, also connected to the phones, that was placed near test takers' shirt collars. Dakin was charged on February 14th on Valentine's Day, the day of love. They they loved him so much they arrested him on Valentine's Day. Now that's some love. Dakin was charged on February 14th with one count of conspiracy to produce fraudulent documents. As of publication, Dakin's attorney Stephen R. Shannon had not responded to Freightway's request seeking comment. According to court documents, federal prosecutors allege that from 2019 until December 2022, Dakin, owner of Maximum Services of Island Lake, Illinois, helped individuals cheat on the written Illinois CDL examination. The documents allege that Dakin and unnamed co-conspirators listened to the questions from the CDL exams and agreed to and did relay via the earpiece the answers to the to the questions in real time to the individuals taking the examination. Prosecutors say Dakin and co-conspirators received at least five hundred dollars for individuals from individuals they allegedly helped cheat on the exams. They'll never get the FCDL. Period. Whoever was involved with that, you will never get your CDL. I don't care what state you go to, you'll never get that. And the test is easy. You know, all you got to do is really study. You know, I, I had to really study for, you know, like I said, the CDL prep. And like I said, of course, you know, the uh, permit manual that they had down here for the state of Georgia. And that was all that I needed. But earpiece, singing it to your microphone, it's just a lot. This is a lot. It's already so much stuff going on in the trucking industry as it is anyway and another thing and the last thing we need is more um fraud allegations when it comes to people getting your cdl is it's like this do the work to get your cdl or don't get it at all you're making a bad name for everybody who's trying to do things the right way and those that are out here on this road driving anyway they're already talking about <laughs> replacing those replacing drivers anyway with automated trucks and here it is more foolery going on again you know just because you want to get some some drivers on your team i just don't understand it you know and i definitely don't agree with it at all but you know the feds came in and you know they're, they're doing what they got to do man and like i said get this get this company shut down man and like i said you know anybody else who's out there doing it man you're gonna get caught man it's a matter of time man like I said, no, greed will imprison you. Greed will imprison you. But, as always, y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about this video. Once again, um, we got to stop this fraudulent stuff, you know, in this industry. Um, especially when it comes to getting your CDL. You can't be fraudulent getting that. Either you got the skills or you don't. But until next time, I'm out.